and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some teamer invocation to start our day off today. That's right, we're calling this invocation because we have a deck with Sunbird's invocation and Vivian's invocation. Two of the invocations here in Standard. All right, so Sunbird's invocation. Six man enchantment. Whenever you cast a spell from your hand, you reveal the top X cards of your library where X is that spell's CMC, and then you may cast a card revealed this way without... Uh, with CMC X or less without paying its mana cost. Okay, so like basically, like let's say we play Sunbird's Invocation, it costs our six mana, then the next turn we have seven mana, and so we play a seven mana spell, like Agent of Treachery. Then we get to, um, after we cast it, so like before it resolves, like just like while it's on the stack, then we look at the top seven cards of our library, because it costs seven. And then we can play any, we can cast anything that costs seven or less from among them. So as you can see, I, I kind of have seven lucky number sevens is like my my main goal here is to play seven drops. So we got two agent treacheries, one Palaka worm, one star of extinction, one Vivian's invocation. So if we have Sunbird's invocation in play, if we just cast any of these seven drops, then we get to look at our top seven cards and cast another one. Dream scenario is like play agent of treachery. Um, and then uh, with Agent of Treachery on the stack, we reveal Star of Extinction, and we just blow everything up and destroy one of their lands, so then they're they're down to not having very many lands. Hey, stop taking my orange. Stop trying to drink my orange juice over there, Hawkeye. And then, uh, <laughs> no, it doesn't mean come over here and drink the orange juice. Um, sorry, so then, yeah, so Star of Extinction would resolve first. We'd blow up everything and destroy one of the lands, and then we'd bring in Agent of Treachery, and we'd steal another land really crippling our opponent um you know and then we can just do all, all sorts of other cool things you know we play a cavalier of thorns look at five cards get anything to cost five or less and, and so on all right our other invocation that we got going on here is vivian's invocation which is kind of like sunbird's invocation it's just look at the top it's just seven mana look at the top seven put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield so it could just be any creature you just put into play and then the rest go on the bottom and then whenever that creature does go into play, you get to deal damage equal to its power to another creature. So you can have it do like a one-way fight. Um, but yeah, Vivian's Invocation, of course, with Agent of Treachery is really nice because, you know, Agent of Treachery costs seven, seven mana anyway. Same with Palaka Worm. So, you know, you just also spend seven mana to help go find these. So, you, so it's like you're playing another copy of those. Um, but then, you know, you can like, so you can steal something and then also do two damage to another creature or just deal seven damage to a creature. Other thing we got going on, so obviously this is really high mana cost, so we need to do some hard ramping. So we got Elvish Rejuvenators in here to go along with the Risen Reefs to help put lands into play for us. I have two white and two black sources. I'm not going um, not going with Field of the Dead, but we got two white, two black sources for Golos. So we can have, uh, you know, so we can activate Golos. Um, Golos... You know, ha like this is the kind of card that you want really expensive cards t that you want to like hit really expensive cards off of. We've seen how powerful Golos is with Nexus of Fate because, you know, it's a very expensive card that you can hit with it. And so having all of these expensive cards can can really be nice. Now, Sunbird's Invocation does only trigger whenever you cast a, a spell from your hand. So if you, uh, you know, activate Golos and you hit something and like you hit Sunbird's Invocation plus Cavalier Thorns. You know, if you play the Sunbird's Invocation, it's not going to trigger with the Cavalier Thorns being cast from Exile, which is what Golos does. Um, Sunbird's Invocation does is like perfect with Nexus of Fate, but I didn't like. So I thought about going that route, but then I decided I didn't really want to just do a Nexus of Fate deck. But yeah, if you get to cast Nexus and then look at the top five, or top seven cards of your library, see if you find another Nexus to cast. Yeah, like that's that's pretty crazy, but. I didn't really want to go the Nexus of Fate route. So here we are. We're going Vivian's Invocation and Ramp. Um, so yeah, let's see how it goes. I imagine we're going to struggle against the aggro decks with playing, you know, like so many cards that cost six or seven mana. But hopefully we get paired against lower decks. All right, so we're playing a league. We're going to see if we can get to five wins before we get to losses. 
So what do we think about the RB22 menace that says at the beginning of your upkeep, each player draws one and loses one? I think that I'm I'm much lower on that card than a lot of people. I think I've seen a lot of people think that card's really good. I I don't think it's very good. I don't think letting giving your opponent cards is good. Um, sure, you get an extra card, also, but uh, you know, so like you know, you're both drawing cards, but I don't think that's ideal for a two mana two two. I think. You know, if it's supposed to be an aggressive card, aggressive um, aggressive decks try to end games as fast as possible and therefore want the opponent to have less resources because the more resources the opponents have, the more likely they're able to, sta to stabilize. So I'm not a I'm not a big fan of the card. Um, I think that the most I think where it can be the most valuable is if you know like how how important that one damage is, especially with spectacle. The more spectacle stuff you play, the better that card gets. The more like spawn of mayhem kind of thing kind of stuff. To the library. Okay. Let's just go for Sunbird's Invocation. I guess I, I probably should have just said Cavalier of Thorns. Honestly. But I already have Golos to be able to play next turn. They can ramp me up to six, and so then I could have like seven the next turn. So I already have like Star of Extinction in a couple of turns if I want. Learned much from my ancestors. Tammy, I was a braggart. Look at me, I have learned much from my ancestors. So I'm minusing the Tamiya where I can, like, my, you know. I wanted to get Cavalier. Cavalier is a better card to have in play before you Star of Extinction. I can have like this Tamiyo grab back my other Tamiyo now. So they have five different cards. I guess I could wait, right? One, two, three, four, five. Maybe I can't wait a turn. Maybe I need a star now. I kind of feel like I star one of these other lands and not the Field of the Dead. Like take out like the Temple of Triumph. Never forgotten. Problem with waiting is they get to they can play a land and activate Golos next turn, and I don't really want them to activate Golos. Hmm. 
so many good options there. You know, getting Star of Extinction back, for example. I can no longer stand by and watch. I've got it. Darn it. I should have. <laughs> hey, Rogo. Yeah, the Golgari one was was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Yesterday, the Golgari Eternity deck. All right, well I messed up. Yeah, I messed up. Should have put Star of Extinction back, or maybe just kill the field of the, kill the field of the dead. True. If, if I did put Star of Extinction back on top, they just play Teferi and tick up, and then they just they just play their uh, circuitous route at my end step anyway. All right, Blood Sun Star, Disdainful Stroke. <laughs> yeah, just one more week of Nexus. <laughs> yep. Um. I probably should have just kept on putting stuff out on, onto the battlefield and waited on the star. I think I just fired it off too early. Looking back at it. That's five cards. Do I really need a stainful stroke? I mean, yeah, as long as they don't have Teferi in play, it's awesome. The problem is they can have Teferi in play. All right, we're going to take out Palaka Worm. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, I kind of want to play all these cards. I don't really want to take out my Sunbird's Invocation stuff, even though Little Teferi makes Invocation so bad. It also makes the Stainful Stroke really bad. I don't know. Here we go. Um, yeah, Orzhov Reborn has a, has some reanimate stuff with like four mana Soren. It's a it's an Eldest Reborn deck, and so that's really what it's named after is Eldest Reborn. Well, unfortunately, we got the tap land here. This hand could have been incredible. We would have just had that land last turn. I'd like to draw a land and be able to slam Sunbird's Invocation first. So no, no, it's like a it's a mid range deck. Um, lots of you know has cheap creatures and everything like that in it too. I should have just attacked with Rejuvenator, probably. 
right? Trade damage. Trust me. You'll thank me later. No, I am not making this up as I go. Fairy's a jerk. Can I just untap with my six mana enchantment? <laughs> it's not really. It's not really that devastating. Doesn't mean I win the game. Hey, Wayward. Yeah, Orzhov Control has a lot of good stuff. There's. Tons and tons oh, of good removal um, and interaction. The, the thing with Orzhov Control has always kind of been if it has good enough card advantage. Oh, right. Teferi means that Teferi just shuts out Invocation anyway. Wow. That's ridiculous. Man, we would have just played it at Free Risen Reef. Ugh. This is an evil card. I'm just trying to do something fun here. <laughs> Why does this have to be a thing? Agent Treachery. Stolen the other one. We will meet again. Alright, we gotta hope. Do we get to see the cards? No, we don't. We gotta hope no more Teferis. To start with. Come on. Right on schedule. Let's try this. Well, this is miserable. No, that was my top card. Ugh, that would have been a good top card to have. That actually gets rid of the Teferi. Don't worry, I got this. He, oh, you just started playing after War of the Sparks. You don't know life without Teferi. Oh, it was so much better. You got to actually, like, your cards actually did things. It was amazing. Life was fun. Talk about it. 
man. See, like, we would get so many free cards. Like, every single one of these cards that we play would, like, bring a free card along with it. Don't worry. This is all just an illusion. This will come. Huh. Darn it. Double Risen Reef there. This might be a bad idea. This isn't over until we figure out a solution. Huh. <sighs> Like it. I'm known for my excellent timing. Trust me, I have a plan. Yay. Yay, Nexus, so good. We just get three turns in a row. I've got time. This is so much fun. Of course, my only prayer is that I draw a Star of Extinction here. I, yeah, I have to draw a Star of Extinction this turn. So Star of Extinction. Uh, I guess I can do this first. Yeah. Good. Cleared out three non-star extinction cards. Star! If they didn't have this Teferi in play, I'd be able to, you know, the Sunbird's Invocation, I'd be able to look at seven more cards. So we would have found Agent of Treachery, I guess. Hmm. Are both stars in the graveyard or something? No, there's just one in the graveyard. Went through, like, so many cards. Didn't see it. Well, I guess I never never played Sunbird's Invocation with Teferi on the other side before. That's really frustrating that it just shuts it down and you know we can't even play our six mana our cool six mana enchantment and let it ha have it do anything.
Okay, new game. Let's not get paired against Teferi, please. All right, this looks good, looks good. Um, obviously, I'm keeping the land. It's it's either Agent of Treachery or Tamiya, right? Like, we're keeping the lands. We're going to keep this part here. I think I keep the Agent. I feel like we're going to be behind with these, and a Tamiya doesn't really help us stabilize where Agent can. I know Agent costs seven, but this... Hopefully helps us hit a lot of lands. Oh, another Nexus of Fate deck? That's fun. So I was thinking Rejuvenator would hit a land, and then if we draw another land, then we would get to double Risen Reef. I don't. I mean, I, I know this is Nexus. I should just shock and attack for two. Also, it's just my my instinct is d don't shock, but I should have just shocked and attacked for two. So that was just, so, so far, um, that was just Rejuvenator, and then five non-lands, and then Land of War Elf, and then Cavalier of Thorns, so that's eight non-lands in a row. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Wayward. Yeah, this is this really is a gr really good song. I like pick up the pieces too. like I was going to say it seems like they have roots there so we know they put one at, uh, as canta down to the bottom <clears throat> so we'll take another as canta here I got my four cards from the Cavalier Thorns in the graveyard right now. Yeah, of course I... Poppy, of course I'm uploading them to YouTube. I upload everything I do on YouTube to YouTube. There's like nothing that I stream that I don't upload to YouTube. All right, let's draw a couple cards. Those are working very good. Draw a couple more cards. <clears throat> Sunbird's Invocation.
No, Vivian's a vacation. Man, I need to play this a little better. I guess I didn't... <clears throat> I didn't really quite realize I needed... 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 Um, Paradise Druid here to attack also. To kill this Nyssa. I could have had the Paradise Druid attack also. Yep. So the problem with this attack is it doesn't kill Nyssa, and then they could just just start playing Nexuses and, and hitting me a bunch. I I really I could have shocked again here and and uh, attacked and killed the Nessa, but so basically what I'm saying is is I can't really take. Uh, you know, attack for attack for six, then attack for nine, then attack for twelve. I can't really take that, and so I kind of need this Cavalier Thorns on defense, honestly. The land fights for us. And then, without attacking with Cavalier Thorns, it doesn't really make much sense to attack with anything else. Wow, no Nexus, no Nexus. We still have a shot, I guess. Uh, that's probably good. One, two, three, four. So this will be number five. And I guess Cavalier Thor Thorns is six. How much mana do I have? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I need. I have fifteen, and I need fifteen to cast all of these. That's convenient. All right, at least, even if they start taking extra turns and, and we lose this, at least we get to do our our fun Sunbirds invocation stuff this time. Okay, actually, I guess we I guess we don't have fifteen. I kind of assumed we were gonna hit a land. I guess we have to take a land with Tamio. So this is six damage. They gotta have, if they don't have Nexus, they have to have fogs, right? Targeting an elemental. There we go. Let us talk of peace. <clears throat> I 
I honestly, did, I'm not sure what you're referring to with your question, forecast. The land shall conquer you. All right, so there's finally Nexus. I'm at 22 cards in library. Yeah, Runaway Steamkin is really cool with like the elementals and stuff. So yeah, so, so this turn, Sunbird's Invocation got it. So, you know, like friend. we just played Sunbird's Invocation this turn. We got a free Tamio and a free Llanowar Elf. Basically going to the graveyard because I just want to get cards out of my library. You know, there's nothing wrong with with that thing. Let's get another Risen Reef in play. Trigger Sunbird's Invocation. I wish I could minus this um, Tamio. That's a good card. I'm going to take up Let first. Let's look for a Star of Extinction. Wait, there's only one Star of Extinction in the main deck. Eh, whatever. I didn't want any of those cards anyway. Stop tapping so many blue sources. Alright, Agent of Treachery triggering Sunbird's Invocation. Which triggers Vivian's Invocation or another Sunbird's Invocation? Ooh, this is so good. All right, triggering Vivian's Invocation, which finds Cavalier Thorns, which puts that into play, which triggers all of these. And we're going to kill the Breeding Pool. Get that trigger. Do this trigger. Wait, oh my gosh, am I gonna mill myself out right now? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, I need to get this Jason play first. Uh, let's see. Um... Submit zero. Submit zero! Oh, I can't submit zero? I can't submit zero? Yeah, the, the, with the cards, it didn't matter if I declined or not there. We'd still look at, we're still looking at the rest of the cards here. Darn it. The reef one didn't matter. No, I don't want to target an elemental. I don't want to. No. I need to get Jason play first, I guess. Darn it. I, I can't just submit zero with Cavalier Thorns? That's ridiculous. Stupid Omnath. Stupid Omnath. <laughs> I didn't realize that I only had set, you know, like we had 22 cards whenever I looked before. <laughs> yeah, if only we had the Jace on board.
The Omnath killed me. If I if I would have started by just saying no to Risen Reef at the very beginning, I'd like the three Risen Reef triggers. I didn't realize it till the very last Risen Reef trigger, and that one didn't matter because we were already going to go through the next five. Um, so I've noticed that too late there. Yes, I understand we got to win the next two to get to the next match, Matthew. I understand that. Um... All right, we'll see how this goes. We were pretty fortunate how slow our opponent's hand was last time. It's unlikely that that happens again, so this this is very likely a loss. Like uh, unless we hit like Risen Reef or a Mana Accelerator here. What? How is that still on my deck? What is going on? I sideboarded that card out. What is going on? All right, we did not find any acceleration. Oh, Omnath was in there too. Yeah, we took that card out. That's great. This has been like the worst league I've ever played. Let us have a story <laughs> Just from all the mistakes work. and everything. I know I noticed this somewhere. This has been horrible. And then like Teferi shutting us down in game one. Just mistakes there. Tons of mistakes that last game. Not tons of mistakes, but some very crucial mistakes. There's like three to five. I think you will find my notes helpful. We're at like 5% to win this. Hey, Biscuits.
Hey, Rockalypse. Thanks so much for the tier one sub there. I appreciate that. Alright, 0% to win. Not beating us Kanto with double reclama reclamation at all. That game's over. I guess we could... So, should we try it again with a, a new league? Y'all think? That was so disappointing. We'll play another match, at least with it. Maybe not a, an entire league because of time constraints. We'll play another match, though. Well, that was, like... The... I don't know, that was... That was one of the, the worst two games of Magic that I've played in my life. I certainly feel really bad about that. All right, so if we're playing against an aggressive deck, we're not going to win here. Don't think this is a mulligan, though. All right, Lanor also is a really good draw. That speeds up, speeds up, speeds us up by a turn. Very good draw there. Another combo deck. Of course, our deck is just a, a really slow. You know, we do just have a really slow deck here, so facing three combo decks. You know, two, ne two Nexus and now a Kethys. Doesn't help me at all either. Hey, Blank, depend on what, yeah, depends on what uh, turn you were talking about. Basically, if you had Nexus, which I thought was more likely, I couldn't, I was at like 12 or 14, you know, it depends on like what turn, but I couldn't really afford an attack back for like fight. six, then attack back for nine, even with just like one Nexus, two Nexus, I was definitely dead. I... I played the game horrendously, though. There were so many mistakes I made. It, I was it's the worst game worst defeat. I've like, ever played. I'm pretty frustrated right now. So library. I apologize about that. I don't... I don't know why I was making so many mistakes. I don't know. I don't know what happened.
So we're kind of in a race to see if our opponent finds Kethis or not. I have two Mox Ambers over there. I follow the tracks of the wise. Should be game there. Yeah, that. Yeah, two Mox Amber. That should be it. It's only a matter of time. I'm not going to sit around and waste my life. Watch them win. All right, we'll see. Maybe we actually get to sideboard this time. Probably not, though. Probably not. So Palaka Worms out. Lava Coils are in. I guess I just have to cut Invocations because, you know, they're a 4x Teferi deck again, and I don't have any answers really to Teferi. I guess. So we'll cut those. And I do like Star of Extinction, though, with them having all these Planeswalkers. Um, so if we play this extra Star of Extinction, that's 62. We could uh, trim, uh, I could just go trim Paradise Druid and Rejuvenator. Um, uh, maybe it'll take out a Golos. No, I'm gonna keep Golos in. All right, here we go. No, I didn't see the Hushbringer. Hushbringer, one in a white, one, two, flying, lifelink creatures entering the battlefield or dying don't cause abilities to trigger. So it's just a worse to call Honor Garden. It's worse against Shock, I guess. You know, and the, the Bone Crusher Giant. But you have flying, so you can attack for one. I suppose. The problem with that card is that they that.
Yeah, it does stop the dying triggers. That's true. That's true. It does stop those. Kind of the problem with that that card is that there aren't any good white cards. So it's like, what what deck are you supposed to put that in? Alright, getting rid of the excavator, not gonna let them fill the graveyard. You know, it's 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 good against elementals. The elemental decks usually play a lot of shocks. So, but if it survives, it's good. I don't really expect it to slow down elementals that much. I don't I don't think people are going to play elementals less because of that card. Not taking advantage of Kethis, that's good for me. That's very good for me. I know we could have attacked Teferi to kill Teferi, but I want to just get rid of uh, one um, one act one Ashiok activation for sure in case something happens to my creatures. That card's, that card's a good. It's a good card for the Azorius guys deck. That's that's like where we'll see play. I don't I don't know if we'll see much play besides that, but Welcome it's very good for the Azorius guys deck. Your final terror is upon you. Good. That thing's out of here. <laughs> that was that was like the one card that. <laughs> Let me kill Omnath now. That was the one card that punished me for attacking with Lanor Elf instead of just using the Omnath trigger to hit. Um, Bashiok. And yeah, we had lands afterwards, so would have been able to trigger and grow Omnath. Hey, Dean. 
All right, well, we're drawn well. Risen Reef is very good, of course. So got through a lot of lands there. They're just trying to top deck a, a Kathis. And they got plenty of all of the mana. Like plenty of all the different colors of mana. Like just casting a Star of Extinction doesn't really make sense. All right, Lava Coils were great. Maybe I don't play Star of Extinction. Maybe I play Shiv and Fire instead. I think that's what I'm going to do. Where you can kick Shiv and Fire. It costs five mana to kill stuff, but it can kill Kethys at instant, at instant speed. I don't know if that... Maybe that doesn't actually help, though. Um, so no, no acceleration. Yeah, I couldn't really play Hydro Crisis in the deck with all the other top end that we have in here. Yeah, we did it. We did it. We won a game. <clears throat> we really did it. Kind of regret taking out Star of Extinction. Remember your nightmares remain. Vigorous swine. No, shock shock is an M20. Every story is an opportunity for new Let me aid your research. So is it better to play Cavalier Thorns or Golos? <clears throat> I feel like it's better to play Cavalier Thorns just because it's bigger. If we would have hit a, a white or a black source with Cavalier Thorns also, then we would know to go grab the other one with Golos instead of just getting, you know, randomly getting white or black with Golos and hoping to find the other one. So I didn't want them to be able to just minus the Tamiyo. Yeah, I don't know why Ashiok is so loud, comparatively. Just how it is. So there's only one Mox Amber over there. I know my responsibility. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. So again, they're just exposing Kethys without activating Kethys. It's not a good way to play Kethys. I 
is not a good way to play Kethys. Alright, still not white or black. Yeah, this would have been better as Star of Extinction. We would have been able to cast Star of Extinction there. And destroy, like, the green-white land and, and kill all those things. That would have been really nice. I'll protect you. So we found white mana. So we know for goal is to go get black mana. much from my ancestors. Hmm. That is incredible. Let's just see if this resolves. Well, that's pretty good. Only time will tell. I will not stand for such violence. You'll fight. Let's just exile those. Our time together. This is <laughs> that worked that worked pretty good. That worked out pretty good. Yeah, what if what if we just died to just this Othakaya? Hey, Dig Dag. Thanks so much there for the support there, Dig Dag Dog. I appreciate that. No Kethys. Our second sub of the day. Okay. There we go. Started to pick it up. Started to play better. That was better. That was better. Played better there. <laughs> yeah, dirtily mid range and beating Kethys. Let's do let's do one more. Should we do one more? Yeah, usually we'd stop after five wins or two losses. Yeah, let's do one more. We haven't really got to do the invocation stuff. Correct, Lord Paku. No twenty twenty today. Oh, thank you so much, White. Let's do... Uh... You know, I don't know if I'm going to play Sunbird's Invocation or Vivian's Invocation again, so I want to I get one more in. Hey, Paul. Uh, just a playlist I made. That's my playlist right there. Yeah, we got Jeskai Hero every day this week. Okay. That's a good opener. Let's 
All right, maybe we're not playing against combo here. But it could just be five color Golos again. So, of course, my plan was to play the Leafkin, but I think... With, um... With the Land War Elf, I can just get another Shock Land into play here, play the Land War Elf. And start going from here. Yeah, it looks like a, a mirror, mirror kind of match here. They probably are a little more elemental focused than I am. And that's exactly what this looks like. Wow, we whiffed. We whiffed. Mm, I want these cards back. I want this one, and this one, and this one. Especially that Sunbird's Invocation. The whiff. The whiff's not good, so now we don't... Well, I guess we still could Cavalier plus Leafkin next turn. I guess we still could do that. Huh, that is a lot of no lands in a row. Vivian's Invocation! Not as cool as Sunbird's Invocation right now. Both of our Agent and Treacheries are gone. So, like, our best hit is, like, um, Palaka Worm. That's kind of the. It's kind of bad that like the cards that I really want to draw are all in my graveyard. I want. I really want to draw Sunbird's Invocation, Star of Extinction, or Agent of Treachery, and they're all in the graveyard. <laughs> so we need to draw like Tamio. All right, that's pretty good. That'll help us find some birds of vacation faster. I guess I should have played this first. I may not have had a shock. Some birds of vacation! Oh my gosh, we're doing it, we're doing it. Can we go can we go both invocations next turn? Do we have the mana? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, it costs thirteen mana. We need to draw land. Come on, draw land, draw land. Come on, draw land. No. All right, well. We're playing this thing. We'll play this thing. Look at the top three. All right, nothing. Get more lands. More lands. <clears throat> Top three. Ooh, free elemental. 
Double trigger. Rejuvenator is even better whenever it also puts an 0-3 into play and draws you two cards. It's even better then. So, I mean, I guess I could be attacking. I don't really care to attack, though. How are we doing on cards? 19? Are they going to kill my Jace? That's the question. Please don't kill the Jace. So we haven't seen a Tamio yet, right? Oh no, there's we milled over a Tamio, never mind. See that's why I'm scared of them going like real wide and then um using like Omnath. Them using Omnath. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so I can play Omnath, then Jace, then Vivian's Invocation. I don't know if we're... Are we going to mill out 18 cards this turn, though? I guess it's possible if Omnath's in play. Because I'm worried about I'm worried about them just holding Omnath that's going to kill my Jace. All right, well, let's give it a try. Oh, dang. There's four lands at the bottom. Kill that thing. That thing's scary. Scary-ish. Tamio! Oh, wait. Uh, target an elemental I control. Um, you. No, I didn't want to actually drop Palaka Worm. That's eight cards. So we're out of Cavalier of Thorns. We're out of Palaka Worm. What's left in my library? As far as if I Invocation. I guess there's an Omnath left. So I, I guess I could I could just Cavalier of Thorns. Oh, yeah, we just hit the Omnath. Yeah, all right, we'll just play the Cavalier. It's kind of the boring thing to do. I just, I don't get to play Invocation too often, you know? That's why we're doing this. Because, yeah, it's true. Yeah, we just have all lands here at the bottom. So this should just mill us out. Our last card to land, we'll put it into play. We draw a card. And we win. Good job, Jace. Just 18 cards gone. All right, another Palaka Worm, another Star of Extinction. Less Agent of Treachery? Do we really need Agent Treachery against our opponent? Probably not, right? Just kind of replace those with another star and another worm. All 
That sounds good. That sounds good there. All right, so we get started on turn three. Rejuvenator, turn four, Golos, turn five, Star of Extinction. Ooh. Never mind, turn five, Invocation. Star of Extinction is not the best thing to play with Invocation, in, though. Because, like, whatever you get off Invocation, you're just going to be blown up. Yeah, unless it's another invocation. That's true. <clears throat> Hitting another invocation would be really nice. No, I really don't like this. Alright, so I, I'm definitely casting Star next turn to get rid of the double Risen Reef here. So I, might, I think I'd rather have Leafkin die than Golos die, you know, if we have to choose one to, to die here. Oh my gosh. That is so good for me. Please don't have a counter spell. Yes, untap unclaimed territory. Do it. Unclaimed territory. N nothing to counter something. Gosh, that is so good for Star of Extinction. Ugh, they could have negate though. Do y'all think they have negate? Well, I guess that's a reason. All right, so I don't think they have Star of Extinction. Or sorry, I don't think they have Negate. But I guess that was a reason to play Golos instead. All right, so we got Invocation in play. We'll let them tick up on another land for us to destroy. What's up, you had 10 months of fun. 10 months of Value Town. Love it. You are amazing. Thank you so much, Yud. Oh, my hype boats went away. I have to, I'm going to have to refresh the chat. So, sorry, I'm... Missing your message. Enchant. Alright, I'm back in in the chat right after so at the insight boats. Behold, nature's true power. Please no negate. Yep, I guess I need to cast Golos, because, yeah, I needed to Starve Extinction that last turn, because giving them Nissa plus Double Risen Reef is really, really rough. Millions of cards over there. They could, you know, just have another Scourger, draw another six cards. We, yeah, we've done some, some pretty crazy stuff. We won last game fairly quickly uh, but by just milling ourselves out and having Jace. That's a good sign. I'm hoping that we get to play Star now. I didn't have, I didn't have seven mana last turn. 
Uh, am I gonna die? No, I don't think I die. I'm close to dead. Oh, that'd be really nice to hit. Uh, let's take the stomping ground. Re really want to find the worm. Okay, invocation. Invocation can look for a worm. All right, cavalier thorns. Uh, we'll kill this thing. Yeah, I really wanted to find Palaka Worm. Man, that's... So... You know, we just saw tons of cards there, no Palaka Worms. So I have to be worried about cards like Shock. You know, the one-two haste that brings back Scampering Scorger. I have to be worried about that. Um, I just get Star back for next turn. We got to look for 14 cards for Palaka Worm. We didn't hit it. And then the next five with the Cavalier was also still no Palaka Worm. So we get to look at another seven cards after the Star of Extinction. So I'm thinking that we should find Palaka Worm after the Star of Extinction. Hopefully. Because that'll be 26 cards. <laughs> yeah. Nice four lands you got there. Nissa's pretty ridiculous. Or sorry, uh, Star Extinction's pretty ridiculous against Nissa. No, oh, they have Thunderkin. Gosh, we have to we have to find the worm here. Hmm. I'm so close to dying. We had 14 looks for one of our two Palaka Worms last game. Or last turn. Darn it, and that goes and grabs Omnath. Bleh. We had 14 looks for you. All right, well, turns out if I would have just played Golos instead of instead of the O3, we would have had an extra turn. So maybe I should have done that. Yeah, Gift of Paradise. Yeah, I didn't really think about Gift of Paradise. I kind of forgot about that card. But certainly that that could have yeah that that could have been maybe been better than rejuvenator. The gain you know you get either gain three life or get a chump blocker. Hmm. If we had blue mana or red mana, we don't have either though. We'll probably draw blue or red mana, right? I like how fast this hand is. But obviously we need blue or red mana. Preferably blue. All right, we get red. Because we need... You 
know, blue for Tamiyo and Omnath. But hopefully we get to play Invocation next turn. No. All right. Yeah, we had we've had some good games. We've had some some poor games as well. But our deck's going pretty good. Hey, Lajimitsu, doing ver doing real good. Yep, life's good. So can we survive to play Star of Extinction? The land fights for us. Probably not. I really need blue mana. Need blue mana, play Risen Reef, so Risen Reef could chump block. Yeah, it's over. All right, well, those last two matches were pretty fun. Um, I will have to say that overall... Um, I expect to play a whole lot better than what I did during that league, so I apologize for how poorly I played the first couple of matches there. Um, that last game wasn't great either. I, I guess I should have mulliganed. It's it's hard to mulligan two land and then land a war leafkin. It's hard to mulligan that, but I needed to draw blue mana to continue, and I didn't have blue mana. Uh, we did not draw blue mana. Blue is the color that we have the most of afterwards, right? Because we have this other, so 8, uh, 12. We have, I guess we have 14 blue sources, so it's not a ton. But we need that first one or need to have, like, Paradise Druid or Elvish Rejuvenator that helps find the other colors as well. Um, yep, unfortunately, Leafkin Druid, not Paradise Druid there. So yeah, good. Glad glad it was still fun to watch here. Um, and yeah, so we got to got to do our Sunbirds Invocation thing uh, a couple of times. One time I messed it up and milled myself out before playing Jace. Uh, but then and that you know we were going we were going crazy with there with the Sunbirds Invocation, but I didn't get Jace down and play fast enough, unfortunately, and the Omnath killed us. But then we got to do it another a different time against the Elemental deck as well there but all right uh vivian's invocation looked pretty cool going and looking seven deep putting a creature into play that looked pretty cool but there we go that's teamer invocation so uh if you're watching this vis video later on on youtube um uh don't forget to the like and subscribe buttons over there and feel free to leave comments as well. I always like seeing some comments down below over there on YouTube. But thanks for watching Subteamer Invocation, and I'll see you for the next video.